Hi, my name is Dr. Udraman and through the Oral Health channel today we are going to be talking about naturally occurring products that can help you relieve symptoms of oral submucous fibrosis. Let's start. So this episode I've made because I've been receiving a lot of love and a lot of calls from people who are not in India who've gone for their livelihood abroad and who don't have access to healthcare or medicines due to whatever federal reasons or financial reasons. So I thought that uh, unfortunately everyone has access to tobacco. That is the that is the most ironical uh, thing that revolts me personally. But then again, I'm not here to be the uh, you know uh, the judge of that. But yeah, so I'm going to talk about some products that are naturally occurring that might help you if you are suffering from oral submucous fibrosis. Now, oral submucous fibrosis, I've already talked about in detail about the you know the symptoms, you know the lack of mouth opening, the burning sensation, the vesicle formation, the nasal twang, and all those things. Now, if you don't have access to medical healthcare or medicines which might be very expensive wherever you're staying, here are some products that can help you, which are naturally occurring and which are relatively easily easy to procure. The first one is turmeric. Now, turmeric is available almost everywhere, uh, and you have to understand that if you are not able to procure medicines for oral submucous fibrosis, you can always go for turmeric. You can get turmeric gels that are available over the counter. You can get for intraoral application, and you can also, if at all there is no such thing as you know turmeric supplements or any sort of turmeric gels, you can have turmeric milk. There is no harm in that, but before that, let me tell you that turmeric, turmeric actually has curcumin, which has anti-inflammatory properties, which has collagen breaking properties. That means the increased production of collagen that happens in oral submucous fibrosis, it retards that and it produces more soluble collagen that helps in, you know, improving the elasticity of your cheeks, opening of the mouth and also burning sensation. You need to understand that before you take any of these products, don't take them by self-medicating. Please get in touch with a doctor or a practitioner or a dentist and then only take their permission and consent so that you can go ahead with it. Turmeric uh, milk is very easy to make. You need to get the, uh, the raw turmeric, right? The needed turmeric and then you need to, uh, you know, take a mortar and pestle and just grind it to fine powder and on a pan slightly make it, fry it to make it golden brown add it to a you know tincture jar and make sure you made a tincture about it and then you can use one to two teaspoons of turmeric in milk warm milk if you're uh, not uh, you know suffering from acidity or if you're not in a very hot climate and have it twice a day that will help with at least the burning sensation because i have tried it personally with my patients who've had lack of access to medicines and ha have access to uh, you know turmeric or haldi the second product is tulsi tulsi is basically it's a herb and you have to understand that it has medicinal properties anti-inflammatory properties anti-cancer properties and there are a lot of tulsi products and gels that can be placed in the mouth again you have to get in touch with your doctor first to ask them for the opinion the third one is aloe vera gel now aloe vera has been very widely it's being produced nowadays for in terms of gels and applications and ointments if you have come across an aloe vera ointment which uh, is suitable for uh, intraoral application you can apply it twice a day and that will give you a soothing and a you know cooling effect it has phenolic acid and all those things there are a lot of properties that are present in aloe vera which can help in reducing the pain sensation the burning sensation because of the fact that the bradykinins that are released as a part of the inflammatory process basically aloe vera targets the bradykinin and it disintegrates bradykinin and it helps in prevention of forming histamines from the histidine uh, molecules and that's how your burning sensation can go down the next uh, you know uh, naturally uh, occurring entity is spirulina which is an algae which can be consumed uh, it also comes in you know tinctures it comes in uh, nowadays it's available on amazon and all those things you can take that and it might help it has adaptogens that help in you know making sure that your inflammatory stress and all those oxidative stress go down and you have other things such as homeopathic uh, measures such as calcarea phosphorica and cuprum metallicum now i am not an expert of homeopathy so i would strongly recommend if you want to go on to that side you should visit a homeopathic doctor regarding the same for your symptoms but you have to understand one thing that there are um, two things that you need to really do in order for your symptoms to 
get better one is stop the habit as much as possible and the second one is physiotherapy now there are three lines of management the conservative line of management is medicines followed by intralesional injections followed by surgery but at all these three steps you need to make sure that you're doing the physiotherapy exercises religiously twice a day every day just like you brush your teeth just like you go to the washroom in the morning you have to make this as a part of your daily routine i have already put up an episode of physiotherapy exercises uh, and please make sure you go through it and you have to make sure that whatever you're eating your your quality and the quantity of food intake should be very adequate because malnourishment also helps in increasing the pain sensation and the burning sensation and the progression of oral submucous fibrosis so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly refrain for calling me directly as i might be busy with patients just drop me your name your location and the common oral health problem that's causing you pain and discomfort and we'll have a dialogue in a couple of days i might not immediately reply to your whatsapp message and if you have any queries doubts apprehensions or insights please feel free to put them in the youtube comment section so that's it for today thank you